So today we will have Coalition Straight Rye Whiskey. This will be a uh, first time opening and first time trying. This is a whiskey that comes out of Kentucky, but it's a straight 100% rye. I'm going to read my notes here. Uh, let's see here. It has 100% rye, Kentucky Straight Whiskey. is a powerful, unique five-year-old rye. With the precious grain coming from just one mile away from the distillery, it has an amber gold color. Uh, and a complex taste with deep spice. Let's see. Uh, and orange peel notes, hints of cedar, tobacco leaves, herbal tea with a peppery finish. All right, so we will have to crack this open and see how see how it goes. So excuse me while I slice into the label here so I can pop this thing out. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's crack this bottle open. Oh. Ooh. oh, that's an interesting nose. I kind of dig on it. And let's just appreciate this bottle real quick. This thing is a pretty fantastic looking bottle. Uh, corks real nice. It's a, basically a decanter. Let's be real here. Boop. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go down there. All right, so first pour. And then we'll put that there. Put this back up here. Sure, plunk. All right. So nice, nice coloring. Nice, nice coloring. Definitely spice. I mean, it got a nice, nice nose to it. Nothing overwhelming. Nothing that's gonna kind of be kind of overbearing. Definitely sweet notes and hints of spice. I actually really like the nose of this. All right, so let's dive into the, the tasting here and see what we got. Ooh. Actually, not that bad. Well, there it is. That initial kick right there. Um, but actually, not that bad on the mouth. Um, nice, nice flavor. Has this, uh, to me, reminds me of a bit of... Um, like dates and oatmeal with like maple syrup or brown sugar. That's what I'm getting um, right off that first taste. So let's let's go for the second one and kind of discuss a little bit more, digest it some more. So usually that first taste is always that that oh drinking poison, uh, trying to get it down. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm getting dates. That's the that's the what I'm the flavor I'm picking up from this is dates, dates and oatmeal with brown sugar or like maple syrup a little bit. More more brown sugar though. Um, yeah, that's that's actually pretty pretty good. I'm really really digging on that flavor profile. Um, and with the heat still there, not as gnarly as that first initial um, uh, imbibe, but it's it's nice. Um, wow, this is quite tasty I'm that yeah my overwhelming flavor is like a dates with oatmeal and brown sugar like if you were to make oatmeal with dates on top while it's cooking and then coat it with brown sugar at the end and scoop that out like whew, that's that's the flavor so I'm I'm picking up anyways um, and then yeah that, that nose is still pretty fantastic real real mild nose yeah that's pretty tasty I actually really dig this um, has a nice rich flavor very uh, like that dates is to me is like with a dark fruit you know like something that's been aged well like a dried date you know someone that's like kind of like crispy outer shell part that's a real sweet sugary inside um, yeah wow I'm, I'm really digging it it's still kind of lingering there on the back of the tongue uh, nice overall flavor just <laughs> wow um, that's pretty good I can I can dig it so yeah, I think that this one would be a, a thumbs up from me. Uh, definitely something to look out for. It's a little bit on the pricier side. I think it goes for roughly between 80 to 110, maybe higher or lower depending on where you're at. But uh, definitely a little bit on the pricier side of the the, um, the rise. But um, you do get this pretty fancy bottle with a nice little reflective label there. I actually had to peel, I should have done that for the video, but peel the, the plastic off the, the little gold part there. Um, but yeah, so far, 
This is this is a nice pour for a first taste. I'm I'm digging on it. It's real nice. <laughs> Let's see here. And on, you know, as as I'm drinking it a little bit more, I'm on the back end. I am getting a little bit of that leather profile, um, and especially as it sits a little bit of that leather and tobacco. It has a nice on the back of the tongue, leather and tobacco like just finish where it's just kind of all just linger in there, and it's pretty pretty interesting pour, which I find very. Uh, uh, intriguing to, to kind of try and piece those those flavors profiles together as a regular drinker I would say I don't think this would be a regular drinker probably more something to bring out and showcase a little bit um, But yeah as a as overall, this is a pretty tasty little pour. So yeah All right, cheers everybody have a good rest of your whiskey Wednesday Move up.